the flag the flagpole uh, the school flagpole needs securing the possible way to secure it is by attaching guy ropes two-thirds of the way up the pole two examples are illustrated below so this is a flagpole so you're going to attach it with either by four wires or three wires so let us take this example of four wires now before you start uh, measuring you should know your height so this is a practical uh, experiment so let let us say let us take need, take a neat number suppose your height for the person who is doing this experiment is say 150 meters so 150 centimeter it can't be 150 meters so this person you have to have a clinometer now clinometer is a uh, tool which helps you to find the angle of elevation of an object so suppose this is a person this is this person is standing 10 meters away from the so let me draw the person so this is the person okay this is this person which who is 150 meters okay my drawing is not that good and from here so this is the eye height so the eye, this is called this is the eye height suppose not the actual height the eye height of this person is 150 meters so from this point you want to find uh, this person will use a clinometer now clinometer so let me draw a parallel line here and from here the angle of elevation say the angle of elevation of this from this this is a 10 meters and from here it is say 32 degrees okay so so what to find the height of the uh, flagpole would be suppose this is x this is the height from year to year and the total height of the flagpole would be x plus 150 okay so this is these are the things you need to consider so we are going to this is 10 if this is 10 meters this is also 10 meters this is also 10 meters so we need to change this into centimeters so this is 1.5 uh, sorry meters 1.5 meters so let's use Sokatoa to find x. So for x, what is x? For this angle, this is your opposite, and this is your adjacent. So we have to use Toa. So let me draw the Toa triangle. Let me draw the Toa triangle. So this is T O A. So your O is 10 of the angle, 10 of the angle, which is 32 times a what is a? a is 10 meters a is 10 meters so let me get my calculator so uh, 10 10 32 times 10 okay that is 6.24 or 6.25 so your x which is 6.25 meters 6.25 meters so the height of the pole, so the height of pole would be 6.25 plus 1.5 meters. 6.25 plus 1.5 meters because you have to consider this height which is from where you're measuring, okay? Or if, suppose you're not measuring from your eye, if you're raising your hand and measuring it, you should know at which height you measured the angle of elevation so let me get my calculator so this is 6.25 6.25 plus 1.5 which is 7.75 meters so the height of the pole height of pole or flag pole is 7.75 meters is 7.75 meters okay so that's one thing done so if you know the height of the flagpole you can find the height at which it is going to be attached so height where attached height where wire is attached where wire is attached would be two-third of this would be two-third of this height of the flagpole would be 7.75 divided by 3 
times pi 2. Okay, so let me get my calculator again. So 7.75 divided by 3 times 2, which is 5.2 meters. So it is in 1 dp, this is 5.2 meters. So what we're saying is this height is 5.2 meters. So let me draw that separately here. So this is your wire. This is 5.2 meters. So now we need to find to find this height. The length. This is a wire. To find this, the length of this wire, we have to use Pythagoras. We need to find this this length. Okay, and then we can use Pythagoras. Okay. Now for to find this length. Okay, to find this length. This is. Uh, this is a square, so let me show you a square here. Yeah. So this is, if you join, because it says they are two meters apart, the wires are two meters apart on the ground. So this is a square. So this is, the, the flagpole is at the point of intersection of the diagonals of the square. So let me draw a square of two meters so that you understand what I'm talking about. So this is a square of two meters. I hope you understand that the pole, the flag pole is at the point of intersection of the two diagonals. Okay, so this, this is your pole where your pole is resting on the ground. Okay, so we, we want to find this length is this length. Okay, so this is two meters. So let me use a different color. This is two meters and this is also two meters. Okay, so we can do in different ways. So let me uh, suppose if you want to find uh, this length, this is what we want to find. This is what you want to find. Okay, so you can draw a right angle triangle here. Okay, so this, if this length is two meters, I hope you understand this will be one meter. This is one meter from from year to year is two meters from so this is in fact the center of the center you can call this the center of the uh, square so this is one meter and this would also be one meter so this length is using Pythagoras suppose let me call this a uh, a so a squared is one squared plus one squared is one squared plus one squared which is one plus one which is two so a is square root of 2. I'll keep a as square root of 2 as it is. Because this a is this measurement. This is this measurement. So this is square root of 2. This is square root of 2. So your wire, so let me call that as b. So b squared is square root of 2 squared plus 5.2 squared, 5.2 squared. And then of course you have to square root it. So let me get my calculator. So bracket, or you can also do, yeah, bracket, shift square root of two squared plus 5.2 squared, which is 29.04. So this is 29.04. And you have to square root it to find B. So your B, which is your length of the wire, which is the length of wire, would be square root of this, which is square root of 29.04. So let me get my calculator. So shift square root of 29.04, which is 5.4 meters. So the length of one wire is 5.4 meters. Okay, now if you want to find this angle, so suppose if you want to find what angle the uh, rope or the wire makes with the ground, suppose let us call that theta. Okay, so if this is what you want to find, this angle theta, how would you, what would you do it? So again, you're using so katoa, so this is your opposite, and this is your adjacent. 
So you're using TOA, so it's always good to draw the TOA triangle. So you want to find this angle. So angle a theta <coughs> will be tan inverse, so tan inverse of O divided by A. So let me write the formula, tan inverse of O divided by A. Okay, so which is tan inverse of what is O? O is 5.2 divided by square root of 2. Instead of square root of 2, you can also write 1.41, which is square root of 2. But to be exact, it's better to write square root of 2. So shift tan bracket 5.2 divided by shift square root of 2. I, I didn't put the point. Let me scroll and put a point. 5.2 divided by square root of 2. Close the bracket which is 74.7, so this is 75 degrees. I'll round this to a whole degree. So this is 75 degrees. 